What is up guys? Welcome to the Big Unbox. We do that small tech and today I am back with another big unboxing for you. And today we got an all new case and we're trying to get to as many cases for this Pixel uh Pixel whatever 6 Pro. But man, there are a lot of them that are sold out. Uh, across the board, I've been looking for Otter boxes. I've been looking for a lot of Tech 21. I've been looking for uh, Incipio. Lots of stuff that's sold out. I found this one. This is from Peel. This is their super thin case. Now, this one should be really, really nice against that big boy phone. At least give you some basic protection so you don't have to go out there and raw dog your brand new Pixel 6 Pro, which is definitely an investment. Presentation, this is going to be one of those ultra thin cases that I got in the mail. I think price is about 30 bucks. Look around for some coupon codes. I think maybe I got it on 25 This is what you're going to get. Very nice presentation. I've done a few of these, pick, or these uh, PO cases for iPhones in the past. Really liked them. So let's go and check it out. This is a clear case, clear gel style case. How to install, we don't need that. We're experts at this. This is gonna be a gel style case, you can see. And what it is, it's not gonna be anything unique. It's got that gel style feel, flex to it. It's gonna give you some super nice grip. You can see the camera hump right there. So it's gonna give you some camera coverage. Now, one thing you can tell about this is those micro dots. And what that's gonna do is create that barrier between the glass back and then your actual case. You're not gonna get that smear rainbow effect as much as some of these other clear cases do, but it actually feels really, really nice. The question is, will this get yellow in time? And yes, this material absolutely will get yellow in time. That's just one of those things you gotta know going into this, that these type of gel style cases that are clear, they look good, but they will get yellow after continued use. It's gonna take out that beautiful Pixel 6 Pro and wipe it down, wipe it down. Man, I just got this thing, and that is a gorgeous looking phone. This might be a, a game changer for Google to get back in this game of uh, smartphones. And dang, that thing does look unique, and it looks beautiful. I like the black. Let's go and throw it in here like this. That clear case is going to look good, hopefully. Pop it in like that. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Look at that. That's it. That Google popping through. The G popping through. You can see... Trying to make sure that it doesn't have any type of that rainbow effect, which it does not appear so. You are going to get some fingerprints, but nothing too bad. It's got some nice grip to it. It's going to be a minimalist case. You're not going to add too much bulk. Camera cutout right there. Look at the camera cutout, what they did. This is a thin case, but look at that camera coverage that you're going to get with that raised lip right there. They did a good, look at that. That's probably a great view. Look how much coverage you're getting on that. They did a great job with the small details for a case that's probably, you know, they didn't really know the design completely, but they did a great job with what they had to work with. Sometimes when they release a phone right out of the gate, companies have a struggle with making the precise cut. And that one looks really good to me. You're getting a nice camera cutout right there. Let's go and check out the lip because everybody likes a fat lip, zip, lip protection. It looks okay. Um, you get a curved screen, which sucks, but you do got the lip, uh, lip coverage up top. And then the bottom as well, so you can see what you're going to get there. So I don't have a problem with that. Nothing on the sides. Ports look good on the very bottom, clean and precise. You do see right there, that's a little, this is what I'm talking about. You do still get that little um, smear right there. You can see it's not really on the back, but if you take it off, it'll kind of go away. But that, you, you can see that smear right there, and it looks just, I hate that. It drives me nuts on some of these gel style cases. It just kind of where it clings to it. And the, the micro dots does help with that, but in this case, you can just see it just does not quite do it at the very bottom there. Volume up and down. Buttons are clicky enough, responsive enough. I like them. Feels really, really nice in the hands. It is gonna be a fingerprint magnet. It's probably gonna show the fingerprints more on the black version than other colors. So here's my advice. Is this expensive? Yeah, I mean, is it worth 25 bucks? No, but for I couldn't find too many cases that were available right now. I do like how thin this is, how much really protection you're going to get with the camera. They did a great job with that camera protection. I'm not going to lie about that. Super impressed by the amount of camera protection you're going to get with this particular case. It does give you a little bit wobble, but that's more up the top right here, not when you're actually... So if you got this face down and you do a little bit of work, it's not going to give you that wobble effect. It's more up top here because of that big camera hump. So overall, I got to say, I mean, this is going to be a hit for me. And it could be just because it's a brand new case right out of the gate and I couldn't find anything else. But to me, it's going to be a hit. And we're going to try to get to some of the other third parties and the official one from Google. But that thing was sold out real quick too. So I'm going to say this one's going to be a hit. 
hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.